So fill out your ballots because we'll be announcing the winner right after the fashion show. Best of luck to all of you. And fellas, don't forget, your lovely lady is shopping here today for you. She wants to look good for you. And a happy wife is a happy life. So it's not just ladies here today. There's ladies, there's men, there's everyone, and there's champagne for all. It's Oh my gosh, Katie, this is beautiful. Look at this. We have everything you need for your Champagne scented rose petals. Oh, great idea. Oh, perfect smell for a hangover. We have a special on faux rose petals. Soft plastic, nobody can tell. Oh, well talk to my sister if she's getting married, not me. Oh, I know, dear, I can tell. We also hand dip the chapel flowers to match your hair color. Oh, we're just having a simple quickie wedding. My fiance is from Australia, so he's gotta go back. Last week. Oh, oh, I oh. know, I know we're getting married in two weeks. Oh, and then living in Australia. It's all so exciting. Right, Kate? Uh, Planet Earth, Kate Wilde. Hmm? Oh, Hello. oh, sorry, I was just looking around. Are these fake? Faux, not fake. Huh. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. Both my younger sisters got married before me, dear, so I know how you feel. Right. Yes. Is that champagne? Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah. it's delicious and it's free. Let's go get more. Mm. Wait, The only way to know if someone's sent from above. If a bell rings, it must be love. If only one sweet face can make your poor heart sing. Well, it's nice. You want like a selfie look? Maybe. I love it. Oh. Skies are blue oh my gosh, way up above and flowers oh zoom below. Like birds of a feather, that. we've come here together and now I won't let go. If you can't get no sleep because they're on your mind. And church bells chime, it must be love. Of a feather, we've come here together, <laughs> and now I won't ever let go. You can't get no sleep because they're on your mind. Well, the ring a ding ding, and your poor heart sings when you hear the bells ring. Let us be loved. Yeah, just one more, just uh. Smiling. <laughs> yeah. All right, there it is. Okay, so, I don't know, maybe you want to get married near the Eiffel Tower, huh? Oh. Oui, oui, huh? Or maybe you need something a little more gnarly, right? Hawaii. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, I can marry you anywhere in the world, really. I mean, if reality is not good enough for your wedding, just call me. Well, actually, it's just my sister getting married, not me. Are you sure about that? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I'll even throw in the lucky guy. Oh, you and Jeff look great together. We met at a coffee shop. Do you know him? Is he single? Thanks. Oh, I'm just kidding. But you actually do know him? Nah, I got him off the net. I mean, but he looks like a Jeff, right? Or a Kobe, Trey. I don't know. Good-looking people always have good-looking names, don't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, beautiful women always have beautiful names, like Lorelai or Vanessa or Megan or Kate. <laughs> hey, have you entered the draw? No, I haven't. But I did see this sign at the front door. I'm sorry. Eager bride. 
Oh, Megs, this is for a wedding in June. You'll be gone by then. Uh, we will, but she won't. Wait, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Good luck. You didn't. Yep. That's crazy. I don't even have a boyfriend. Well, you better find one fast. Wedding's in June. Oh. Katie, chill. What's the big whoopity do? What if I win? Then you get like a lot of cool stuff. Look, massages, pedicures, trips. Heck, half the stuff isn't even for weddings. Uh, diamond rings, floral arrangements, and a custom wedding dress. The other half is. Ah, oh, Kitty, there's like a thousand names in there. Relax. There is no second guess Where the music they post with no rest ba, 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 ba. It's in your chest Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I'm Bob Hines, and I'm the editor of Calgary Modern Marriage Magazine. And it's time for a lucky lady to win her dream wedding. Let's see who it is. You are crazy. And the winner of the $100,000 dream wedding it's Kate Wilde. Ah! Kate Wilde, is that you? I'm not in your debt. Kate Wilde, you have to be here to win, dear. <laughs> Kate Wilde? Well, it's a big building. <laughs> I'll just give her a call and see if she's here. I had to. I said to. I was not going to kill you. I swear nobody will find your body and no jury would convict me. It's a big day for Kate Wilde. <laughs> Kate, Kate Wilde, is that you? Come on up here, claim your prize. Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Wilde, the winner of the $100,000 dream wedding. You won! Ha <laughs> ha, she won! No, 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 there's been some kind of mistake. No, and I... <clears throat> no, no, uh, do you know what? We're just gonna have a little chit chat. We'll be right back. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. oh, this must be wedding nurse. She'll, she'll be right up here in a moment, folks. $100,000, dream wedding, Kate Wilde. Isn't it? Mix, <laughs> um, what are you doing? I can't accept this. Uh, sure you can. You won. Fair and square. They picked you. I'm not getting married. So? Only you and I know that. Look, do you see any TV crews, paparazzi? Outside of this building, nobody knows. And nobody cares. Look, not even these businesses care who win. They're just doing this for publicity and um, advertising. Excuse me, Kate Wilde. They're um, ready for you. Is everything okay? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, everything's fine. She's just a little shy. Uh, could you just give us one more minute? Okay, yeah, thanks. Katie, the next couple months, what are you gonna do? Well, work? No, no, I mean to meet people. Specifically, single men type people. Office parties, bars, Craigslist. What? Okay, fine, what about just going out on the town and getting pampered and waxed and massaged? New clothes, new look. $100,000 new you, how does that sound? But what about the other women, the real brides? Who's to say by June you won't be a real bride? Uh. History, logic, reality. It could happen. <laughs> Look, we're 
being proactive. Make it happen. Okay, fine, then do it for me. I'm not gonna see you for a really long time. Kitty, this is a gift from God. We could do all of this fantastic stuff together. God, Katie, for once in your life, don't be sensible. Live it up. You could meet more people and have more fun than you've had in forever. Okay, but you're forgetting something. What? The wedding. 50% of the bride and groom thing, it's missing. Well, you just break up. With who? Raul. Raul? Raul, Ted, Fred, it doesn't really matter. You just say that your guy gets cold feet. <laughs> My darling Kate, it's not you, it's me. I'm just not quite ready to commit, but I hope in Kate, time... spare me, I know the drill. <sighs> okay, I am crazy to even think this, but maybe... The day after you leave, I could call them and tell them that the wedding is off and they'll have time to find a real bride. Ah, uh, yeah. Go Katie, go Katie. You are insane and I am insane for listening. Yeah, it runs in the family. <laughs> Look, Katie, you're doing this. If you don't, you're gonna regret it for your entire life. Oh, I already regret it. Uh, no more talk, come on, let's go. Kate Wilde has won a $100,000 dream wedding, and she just has to come up and get her prize. Come on up, Kate. We're back. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> New bride nerves. You know how it is. Kate, are you here? Ah, ladies and gentlemen, our winner, Kate Wilde. Congratulations. Welcome. Welcome, and congratulations on winning a $100,000 dream wedding just for you. Thank you, yes. Uh, sorry, she's a little shy. I am Kate's sister, and I will be accepting on her behalf. So, thank you. Oh, very nice of you. A bridesmaid. Uh, yeah, yep, I sure am. Uh, look, we're in a bit of a hurry. Yes, I saw that, I saw that. I saw you rush off there. Now, Kate, it almost looked like you did not want to win this contest, but that can't be right. <laughs> so tell me, Kate, is your wonderful fiance here with you today? Uh, uh, <laughs> No, no, um, you know men. <laughs> They'd rather have dental surgery than be dragged to this place. Um, my own fiance refused to come. So. Oh, so you're getting married as well? Yes, yes, I am. Um, she proposed last week. Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations to you both. Now, Kate, I'm sure you'd love to have your fiance standing right next to you on this special day. Why don't we give him a call and explain to him all the wonderful things that have happened to you? No. No? No. No, <laughs> no we can't. Uh, he is in Mexico. Mexico? Yes, way up in the mountains. Oh, the mountains, yes. By the ocean, yes. And there's no cell phones there. Heck, there's not even internet. He's a doctor. A doctor, a doctor. And he also builds homes for the poor. Oh. Anyway, uh, we really have to go, so if we could just get... He builds homes for the poor in Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I ask you. You must be so proud of him. <laughs> she is. She, she really, really is. She just can't stop talking about him except for right now. So, um, uh, we just gotta grab. What's his name? Raul. 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 Yes. Um, Raul. Di credenza. Di credenza. Yes. Six four. Oh. Blue eyes. Ooh. Great bud. Oh, sounds lovely. Anyway, we are actually on our way to the airport. We've got to go get him. Andy, would you come up and take a couple of photographs of our winner, please, and her yes. sisters? How Ooh. exciting. Cheers. Hi. All right, right there, and that smile. Smile. <laughs> yeah, there. Uh, yeah. There it is. All right, well, congratulations. Oh. Although Katie, I thought go get the car. Uh, hi. Hi. Yeah, I just need this. We need to get to the airport. Oh, please, allow us to take you to the airport. No. Please, we, we have a stretch limousine at your disposal. A what? Stretch limo. Oh, a limo. A limo. Yes. 
Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, we could just take a couple more pictures. A couple more pictures. Andy, if you would. All right. Yeah, not a problem. You know the drill, right into the lens, and the <laughs> smile thing again. Uh, yeah. Say, I love weddings. I love weddings. I love weddings. Stretch limo, baby. Every Sunday till the big day. You mean our court date? When we get sued? What do you mean, a we, stranger? I've been carjacked, taken hostage. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Oh, yes, a limo, champagne. It's your poor thing. Ugh, I swear I am an only child. You must have been adopted by some depressed Swedish Puritans or something. Mom, Dad, my friends. Oh, Kate, nobody knows except for you and I. And even if someone does find out, what's the big deal? You won a big prize at the wedding fair. Yeah, a wedding. Usually that involves two people. Ooh. Let's have lunch at Le Gevroche. Uh, French food, Kate. We're gonna eat French food. <sighs> oh, I am so having this. What is it? I have no idea, but it's a hundred bucks, so must be good. Oh, you and Dave go. We can't. You have to be there. You're the bride, remember? We're here. Uh, where? The airport? in a limo and nobody we know sees us. Oh, thank God. Need help with anything? Uh, yeah. Actually, you can just take us back. Take you back? Uh, uh, so, sorry. <laughs> no, no, thank you so much for the ride. We're okay. <laughs> yes, thank you. It was lovely. Um, we'll see you next Sunday, right? Hey, what are you doing in June? Sorry. I, uh, she was dropped on her head as a baby. You know, maybe stuck up work in a toaster at one point. Anyway, thank you so much. Limo is beautiful. You take care now. We gotta catch our flight. <laughs> our bags are in there with our fiance. That's fine. Thank you. Take care now. <sighs> okay, we have had our fun. Uh, no. We are just getting started. No, we are not. We are going home. Wait, weren't you supposed to meet Dave after the fair? Oh my gosh, with everything going on, I totally forgot. Hello. Hi, uh, we're at the airport. You where? At the airport. Um, we don't have our car. It's kind of a long story. Megan, I'm at the consulate. <laughs> you need to be here with me. Crockies, we got like a million things to do. We need to go to the bloody airport. Where's your car? At the fair. We drove here in a stretch limo. It was fantastic. I don't even ride back. I don't even ride backside if flying dingoes took you. I mean, you've got to be more responsible. Just, just get here as fast as you can. Okay. Bye. I love you. Ugh. We need two taxis. I've got to go to the consulate. Passport and stuff. You okay? <sighs> just stressed. The wedding, the trip. We fought more in the past six days than we have in the entire six months. God, 60 million men in this country and I marry an Australian. <laughs> but I'm glad we won this thing. It was fun today, huh? Raul de Ferenza. De Credenza. Raul de Credenza. Mm -hmm. Six four, blue eyes. Yeah, buns of steel, I know. <laughs> you are a nut. Why couldn't you bun with John Smith? That name they can't check up on. Uh, who, the wedding cops? Like, nobody cares, Kate. In two weeks, you and Dave will be split up and it's over. Um, what, it was a good idea. Uh, no, Meg, you said Dave, not Raul. Ugh, nobody cares what you call your fake husband. The next two weeks, sis, you and me are going to bump it like a trumpet. Am I right? Ugh. Like, relax. Nobody knows but us, okay? And I'm not gonna tell so. Unless we get caught. Then I talk. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, I'll call you when I'm done, okay? 
And tomorrow, first thing, we're going to the spa. Maybe the day after you leave, I could call them and tell them that. Maybe the day after you leave, I could call them and tell them that the wedding is off and they'll have time to find a real bride. Uh, yeah. That's perfect. Thank you. Feeling better? Less paranoid? Kinda, yeah. Good. I was worried you'd enter into a witness relocation program. Again? Oh, oh. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. It is a shame that your fiance couldn't join us. So, will you guys be ready to order? Um, I'm making you go. Hello? Is this Kate Wilds? Uh, yeah, speaking. Hi, Kate. It's Bob Hines, editor of Calgary Modern Wedding Magazine. <laughs> you don't remember me? We met yesterday. I, I, I yes, yes. <laughs> Have you used any of your prizes yet? Uh, don't touch the wine. Why? What's, What's wrong? wrong? It's the wedding fair. They found out. Uh, uh, Mr. Hines, I'll pay it all back, every penny, e even for the wine. I, I'm sorry. You know, I, I've been drinking. I wasn't thinking. Please forgive me. I'll deal with this later. Mr. Hines? Hello, Kate. Kate? Uh, I'm sorry. It's just a madhouse here today. No, Kate, we're going to need uh, photographs of you and Raul. As far as June issue, though Andy Swenson is going to be the photographer. He'll take the shots. And I certainly hope fine. you're enjoying your gifts. No, I have to tell him. Mr. Hines, give me that. Hey! Hi, this is Megan, Kate's sister. Do you always speak for Kate? Yes. I do. Look, we'll get you those pictures, but we gotta go. Bye. Okay. Oh, charming lady. What are you doing? Give me that. No, Kate, we're fine. They don't know. They will soon. Give me that. No, Kate, look, they just want pictures of you and some guy. What's the big deal? You guys are gonna be broken up anyway by the time the magazine comes out. They'll just pull the photo. Uh, what photo? And what guy? Any photo. You and any guy. Dave. Dave will do it. What? <sighs> he's tall, he's good looking, he's got a great butt. Megs, what do we tell him, huh? How do we explain to him that he's posing for wedding photos with me? Megan? <sighs> oh my gosh, he already knows. You already told him. Oh, Katie, I'm sorry. I had to tell him he was so mad at me yesterday. Look, you should see our passport pictures. We were both so upset, we look horrible. You know, these past couple days, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Megan, he loves you, and you love him. Oh, I know, I know. It's just, with him proposing and me leaving, it's just all happening so fast. And, God, in two weeks, I'm gonna be in a whole different country with a husband. 
And without mom, without dad, without my big sister. Oh, I'm such a baby, I can't stand it. No, no, no. You're actually very brave. I'm the one who's backed out twice. Heck, look at me now. I can't even go through with a fake wedding. <laughs> Did you tell anyone else? Hmm? Megs. What is it, all over your Facebook? No, no, no. It's just one little email to Vicky. Oh, I swore to her complete and total secrecy. Mm, I can hear a hundred Twitters spreading the news. Um, no, Kate, that's so not happening. Look, Dave and I will come to your work tomorrow and we'll take some pictures of you guys. Nuh-uh, they want the photographer from the wedding fair. You know, the guy with the beard? Mm. All right, sure, we'll do it. Oh, you and Dave should totally have a fight. You know, like a little argument? That way it sort of sets the seeds for the eventual breakup? Huh? What do you think? I think we're both gonna be wearing straight jackets soon. <laughs> oh, Kate, it's just 13 more days and then... Uh, I'm sorry, I got frozen female feet. Wedding's off, bye. <laughs> Give me that. Where's our waiter? I'm hungry. Hey, guys. Good day, darling wife. Oh, yeah. Look, thanks for doing this. I know it seems crazy, but Megan talked me into it. Me too. I was gonna refuse, but then it dawned on me. Things just might work out. Oh. Boy, crikey. I'm not even bloody well married yet. All right, we should get going. I only have an hour. Catherine, sorry, excuse me. Uh, before you go, these rental contracts. What about them? Oh, well, you see, there's an important disclosure failure here. Uh, your wedding? Surprise! What are you talking about? Oh my god. And you must be the lucky man. Uh, am I? Speech, 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 speech. Um, listen, guys, this is very nice of you, but um, you didn't have to do this because. Oh, we know. I mean, what could we possibly get you? You already have everything you need. Actually, I I don't. That's the problem. Um, well, this is embarrassing. Um, Bottom line, I'm not getting married. You know, I've been drinking, I wasn't thinking, and I made a very big mistake. <laughs> guys, guys, come on, you'll work through this. Megan, they're just going through a little bit of a rough patch. <sighs> Megan, I will push your head through a rough patch if you don't shut up. It happens to all couples before weddings, you know, the stress, <sighs> the travel, passports. But I'm sure these two will work it out. <sighs> we just have to talk, we'll be right back. I'm sure it'll work out. I mean, trust me, I'm a bit of an expert. Been married three times. Ah, uh, you do have a prenup though, right? You are embarrassing me in front of my coworkers. Megan, this is over, done, finished. See this? Take a good look. I'm in the paper, for goodness sake. Oh, what, some neighborhood rag that maybe 10 people will ever see? They saw it. Anyway, I told them that I'm not getting married, so this is it. It's over. No, Kate, it's not over. Not until we tell the wedding people. And we'll do that after we have our fun. Look, Kate, you agreed to do this. Come on. Yeah, that was before my coworkers found out that I'm marrying my sister's fiance. Oh, they don't know who Dave is. They will in two weeks when they see you two in the paper cutting wedding cake. So they'll just think he moves fast and that I'm a tramp. <laughs> look, I'm leaving anyway, remember? I'm not. I have to deal with this. Oh, look, Megan, I love you, but you are 26. It is time for you to grow up. You mean, be like you? What's that supposed to mean? What, you don't want to be boring, sensible, and afraid of commitment? Geez, what's so bad about that? The only thing worse would be an irresponsible, uh, immature girl who'd marry a man she's only known for six months. <laughs> Sounds great. Sign me up. I did. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't believe we're arguing about it. Oh, I know. Look, if you want to call it quits and break poor Dave's heart, do it. At least we had one fun day. Well, I did tell the truth about me not getting married. So if you are going to guilt trip me into having fun, 
You better go get my future ex-husband. Um, yeah, before he dumps us both. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you don't have an appointment with Mr. Hines, you can't see him today. <sighs> He'll want to see me. Mr. Hines! This is gonna be great. I have thought this all through. Dave, you're really gonna pretend to be Raul de Credenza? Si, senorita. No problemo, love. What? Is that line of all you poking through? Oh, just a wee bit there, mate. Uh, actually, Dave and I have come up with a plan. Right, honey bunny? Right, poopy bear. And what is that plan? A good one. Just let me do the talking. Uh, that's how I got into this mess in the first place, so please tell me the plan. I can't believe you don't trust me. Look, when we go in there, Dave, I mean, Raul, speaks no English. Ah. Right, and then how do we talk to him? Oh. Yeah. Should have made him a mute, and we could have used sign language. It's true. That's a right proud idea. Oh, and what? It is. So what do we do now? Come on, love. It doesn't matter. This photographer bloke won't care. No English it is. Why, thank you. Hello? Andy? Oh, guys, we're gonna be great. Uh, anybody here? Hello? Yeah, be right there. Hi. Hi, I'm Megan. I remember. Hi, Megan. And, uh, hi, Kate. Yes, hi. Good to see you again. It must be Raul. Tell me, how does it feel to be the winner of a $100,000 wedding? Raul does not speak any English. Oh, uh, yo hablo espanol? Or Spanish. Really? That must prove difficult working in Mexico, saving children. Uh, yeah. Look, we're in a bit of a rush, so... Oh, yes. The pictures, right? Yeah, well, hey, I saw you guys walking in. Took the liberty of just grabbing a few candidates. Got one here that's, I think, really special. Ah, this is gonna be one interesting wedding album. Mm, yes, you see, um, in Raul's country, uh, men kiss the bride's sister. Megan, oh. give it a rest, okay? We're busted. <laughs> yeah, I reckon so. Sorry, mate, I feel like a bloody fool now. Oh, you, I mean, you see, he speaks kind of English. Hi, Andy, where are you from? Australia, Dave White. Megan and I, we had married. Mm. And I am not. But I think I told you that at the fair, didn't I? Yes. Well, you must think we're idiots. <laughs> we're crazy. We're both. <laughs> Actually, I'm just more curious as to why you even entered the contest. Oh, I didn't. No. <laughs> Look, I never thought that she would win. And when she did, I thought, eh, we'll just have some fun and maybe she'll meet a nice guy. I was only going to do it for two weeks. That's how long Megan and Dave are in town for. And then I was going to have a breakup. And then they could pick someone else. Look, we didn't mean any harm by it. We were just having fun. So please don't turn her in now. Oh, like to the marriage police? Yep, drop the ring. Come out with your hands up. So you're not mad? No, not at all. This is hilarious. You guys are great. I mean, I got a warped sense of humor, so as far as I'm concerned, you can just milk this like as long as you need to. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, in that case. No. No, two weeks. This has been stressful enough. I feel like I'm actually getting married. <laughs> Got that right. No offense, mate, but what's with all the bloody fruit for all? Imagine bloody teacups and napkins. <laughs> Christ. Me and Megs are having a simple quickie wedding, and it's still a nightmare. Uh, thanks. A lot. You know what I mean. What should be so simple it usually just turns into a cocked up footy scrum bash. What? I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna buy a book. I think what he's trying to say is. Correct me if I'm wrong, you want like a more simple wedding, like Vegas style, just 50 bucks, five minutes you're out, or 50 bucks? Uh, hey, look, a wedding is every woman's once-in-a-lifetime special day. 
There should be roses. There should be candles and doves, and it should be romantic. Right, Kate? Well, seeing as I'm having a $100,000 wedding, I agree. <laughs> Katie, if you find the right guy now, you'll be quite the catch. Except he'll have to marry me in a few months. <laughs> and we all know how well quick marriages turn out. <laughs> We're wasting your time. Very sorry to bother you, but it was very nice to have met you. It was nice to have met you as well, and you're not bothering me at all. In fact, Kate, I mean, are, are you into tall, handsome men? She is, mate, but I'm taken. <laughs> OK. Well, I work with models all the time, so I was thinking, what if I just spoke to a few of them and told them that, you know, they would be part of this dream wedding campaign, right? And you just need to pretend to be a groom for two weeks. I mean, a lot of them would probably come out for free just to get their faces out there. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I... <sighs> it's not a bad way to meet somebody. Oh, my God, it's a great idea. Look, Katie. Look at these hunks. They're gorgeous. <clears throat> Just like you, honey. Hmm. All right, let's pick a hottie. Oh, come on, Megs. I mean, I can't just look there. Wow, he's fit. Uh, yeah. Uh, Glenn. Glenn. Yeah, Glenn. Yeah, he's a fitness and sport model, but, uh, yeah. Uh -uh. No? No. Trust me. Oh, what about him? Or him, or him, or him, or him, or him. Babe, babe, I think she can only choose one. <laughs> this coming from the guy marrying two sisters. <laughs> OK, guys, guys, I, I don't know about this. I mean, yes, they are very good looking, but I'm attracted to someone with a good sense of humor and someone I can actually talk to. Oh, God, Katie, what's wrong with you? you drive me crazy. You know, Kate, I wouldn't judge a handsome book by its cover too quickly. I mean, a lot of these guys are students, pre-med, pre-law, actually pretty bright. And they're hot. Look, Katie, you so totally have to do this. Please. I guess, maybe. Yay, we can double date. So, Biff, how much weight did you lift today? Small country? Belgium? <laughs> uh, either way, we still have to be kind of careful. Some of them are married, some of them have girlfriends, and then some of them are married with girlfriends. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Hello? Kate Wilde? Bob Hines, hi. Uh, listen, Kate, I was just wondering, have you and Rule had a, a chance to get to the studio and get those pictures taken yet? Uh, no. No, no we haven't just yet. Would you, would you mind holding on just a second? Oh, it's, it's the magazine guy. He wants to know if we've done the pictures yet. I really don't like this. Bob Hines? Yeah. You mind if I take it? Bob, hey, it's Andy Swenson here. Uh, listen, could you call back? I am literally just about to shoot Kate and her fiance right now. Yeah, with a camera, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, they're a wonderful couple. Yeah. No, not a problem. Yeah, absolutely, I'll email you as soon as I have the images. Yeah, okay. Bye. Well, I mean, it's possible that he suspects something. Either way, we should probably pick you a groom real quick. No, no, no. If he suspects something, I really don't want to get you into trouble. Ah, no skin off my back. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you came in, I shot you and your fiance, and he happens to be a model. Yeah. Look, what's the big deal? You're going to break up with this guy in two weeks anyway. Unless my mail order husband plan works. <laughs> pick a dude. I'm sorry, Joanne. But our photographer, Andy Swenson, says that Kate and Raul are at the studio getting their pictures taken as we speak. And I am telling you that that is a crock. This chick ain't getting married, okay? Just listen again. Oh, please. If you leave, I can call them and find that the wedding is And they'll have to Let's go out for pride. But no, no, that is not what she is I'm saying. I'm sorry, I... Joanne. I don't know what they're saying. I. I don't know who these people are. All I see are feet. And quite frankly, dear, I don't know who you are, OK? So I don't want to be rude, but I think it's time that you left, all right? If I can prove it, will you give me the prize? What? Mr. Hines. Uh... <laughs> Do we have a deal? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You win. Yes. You bet. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure. Yes. Yes. Any yes. 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 We have a call online, too, and we need you to make a decision on these fabrics really quick. Uh, Carrie, get that to the printers, please. <sighs> okay, yeah. 
as much fun as this is, Megan and I still have some visa work to sort out, so if you'll excuse us. Uh, um, <laughs> I'll take this for you, Katie. I'll help you. I'm sure she can handle it. Uh, really, it's not a problem. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, honey. Good sport. Kate, Bye. see you later. Yeah. Megan, I'm gonna need that back. Um. Thank you. <clears throat> need the other one, too. Thank you. Have fun. You want lunch? Yeah. You like soup and a sandwich? I mean, it's not fancy, but it's free. Sure. Follow me. Aw, oh, that was nice of him to do that for Kate. What? Come on, love. Make your sister look like a wall of his backside if you're doing this. The bloke fancies her. Wants to give her the hard words. The what? The hard words. I don't know what you bloody well call it in this country, but down under, you put the hard words to a she that you like. <laughs> I cannot go to Australia. I do not speak. Language. Oh, I had to learn Megan, like, oh my god, it's so totally awesome. Bye. So, are you telling me that when we first met, you put the hard words to me? Oh, love, it's just an expression. Well, it doesn't sound very romantic, and it makes me wonder what kind of country we'll be living in. Trust me. You'll love it in Oz. You never want to come back. And then they called my name, and I just about had a heart attack. And then I realized, no, I can't diet. I have to strangle Megan first. <laughs> well, I remember thinking, wait a minute. She just told me she was single like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> How'd she meet a guy so fast? <laughs> but don't worry, I'm used to that. I've had women on death row tell me, you know what, Andy? I'm <sighs> just not ready for a relationship right now. Um... I'm kidding. She wasn't on death row yet. <laughs> no, I got a twisted sense of humor. I told you that, remember? It's probably why I'm still single. I know, huge shock, huge. Actually, I am surprised. No, really. I mean, you're funny, you're very nice. Oh, not that word. What word? Nice. Oh. Yeah, it's usually followed by the dropping of an F-bomb. <laughs> Friends. Oh. Come on, you know it's true, right? Hey, Andy, you're really nice. Let's just be friends. It's a zone. Ah, <sighs> yeah, women want the bad boy. Well, that's not true. Really? Okay. Please look at Exhibit A. Look at his face. Exhibit A, B, and C. None of them are smiling. They're all going for this police lineup look. Okay, they're like, hey, baby, you want to go on a date? We could end up in the back of a cop car, and we'll write a song about it. That sounds very appealing. But it sells. Listen, bad boys are exciting, right? Nice guys are not. Women want the challenge of taming the bad boy. Nice guys are already tamed. There's no challenge. Okay, well, what about bad girls? What about them? Other than, well, God bless him. <laughs> I think that men want the, uh, the bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Thanks. <laughs> you know what? I think most men are just trying to get a girl. And it's hard, good or bad. Well, if you feel that way, Andy, then why don't you just become a bad boy? You know what? I try. How? I drink straight out of the carton. Come on. Yeah, don't even use a glass. <laughs> I'll have an after eight dinner mint at 5.30. I don't care. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna try the face. Brace yourself. Okay. Left hand. That's terrifying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't do it. Good. Women don't want a bad guy. The problem is, is that most nice guys are too shy to ask us out. Trust me, Andy. Stay the way you are. Uh-huh. No, I'm serious. Women want a man like you. So you notice how I put him in front? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was nine months pregnant. <laughs> Practically had to use a fisheye lens to take the picture. <laughs> yeah, they would not speak to each other. Hmm. Hmm. Not even sure if they're together anymore. I mean, God only knows how many of these couples are still together. See, marriage in and of itself is beautiful. The marriage industry? Ooh. 
Ooh, that's another machine. I mean, what kind of business can survive on a 50% failure rate? But it just keeps on thriving. It's the repeat business that keeps it going. <laughs> How about yourself? You ever been married? No. How about you? No. I could have been married twice. I backed out both times. Well, why were they nice? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. It's a family habit. I can't help myself. OK. <laughs> I think I understand now why you didn't marry those men. They didn't survive the engagement. <laughs> hmm. Kate and Raul getting pictures taken today? I don't think so. Hey, you know what? Uh, where am I? Maybe you would be interested in meeting Paul. Yeah, he's a fitness instructor. Hmm. Pretty smart when it comes to fitness. Uh, anyway, he's five minutes away. You want to go meet him? You mean today, like now? Yeah, today, like now. Oh, no, no, no. I, I mean, I'm just for work, not to meet someone. You look great. Uh, not today. Um, you don't have much time. I mean, you got two weeks before you have to break up with someone. I know, I know, but what if he says no? To pretending to marry you? What kind of guy would say no to that? No, come on. Come on. It's not far. Come on. I mean, he's a physical trainer, but he's not like a mean fitness guy. He's not like, hey, your earlobes are soft and squishy. Get down, give me a thousand push-ups. Do it. I never thought about them before. Oh, another thing to worry about when I meet him. Thanks a lot. You're OK. Andy, I don't usually go for the macho man type. Never have. OK. OK, I got a plan. All right, I'll go in first, and I'll talk to him. All right, you just check him out from a distance, and if you don't want me to introduce you, then you give me a signal. OK, like? Yeah, that works. So if you do that, then I won't introduce you. OK, so if I don't like him, I do this. Uh -huh. But what if I do like him? Just come over and say hi or talk to him or tackle him. OK. OK. All right. All right, let's do right. this. But they are soft and squishy. <laughs> He's never not here, so. Okay. There he is. <laughs> hey, Paul. Yo, Andy, what's up, dog? So, bro, you chilling? You Max and relaxing or what? Yeah, just Max and relaxing, all cool, shooting some b-ball out. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you know what? It's good to see you. I I'm gonna go. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, oh. <clears throat> uh, hi, pa Paul Thompson. This is Kate Wilde. Hi, Kate. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Paul. Oh, is this a shoot? Where's your camera? No, no, I'm, I'm not working. No. Oh, uh, uh, I didn't think you were a model. Well, I mean, you're not just for a booty call. And you don't have that fake board. Why is everybody staring at me? Look on your face. Oh, <laughs> no. So what brings you two in? Andy. Um. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Paul, listen, uh, this could come across really awesome. This could be awesome. Hey, would you be interested in pretending to be Kate's fiance? I mean, you'd have a fake name, of course, right? Like uh, Raul de Credenza? Yeah. What are you two up to? Kind of like acting in a play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be the groom and she's the bride. Yeah. You, I mean, unless you want to switch roles, we could lengthen the dress, shorten the pants. <laughs> I mean, would your girlfriend or, or wife mind? Oh, no, no, no. They wouldn't care. Hmm. I'm just kidding. I'm single. Oh. <laughs> so Raul de Carenza. Uh-huh. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that could be cool. I am an actor. I do a little bit of bit parts. You know, like this bit, like that bit, like this bit. Yeah, body <laughs> doubling, you know. Yeah, Paul's been an ass in a couple films now. Yeah. <laughs> so two weeks, huh? Sure, if you want. Sorry? Oh, I, I mean, yes, until my sister leaves, and then we break up. Hmm. All right, let's do it. It'll be fun. Besides, 
we wouldn't have to go through with the real deal. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. You look good now, but two weeks with me, maybe you'll get in better shape, right? Oh. We're gonna go. Um, oh, yeah. Thanks. That was quick. Yeah, next time. Yeah. Bye, Paul. <laughs> Might get in better shape? What did he mean by that? It's his job. He trains people. He shouldn't have said that. I mean, you said you look good, though, right? So other than that, what'd you think? Well, other than calling me fat? Yeah, he's nice. Oh, well, I guess when you're a Viking warrior god, you can afford to be nice. Well, we'll see. I mean, yes, he is very attractive, but I don't judge a man based on looks alone. Oh. Uh, K Kate? Okay, start from the beginning. He is so beautiful. Incredible eyes, amazing smile. And this bod? Oh my god. Wow. It's like the statue of David, except with arms. That's the Venus de Milo. Oh, whatever. Tell me more. Okay, well, you know how I hate when guys are like, yo, dog, what's up, bro? Oh, yeah. Well, he did that, and I just stood there smiling in a daze. Like, like you lost your mind and became me? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Megs, this is ridiculous. This is just a physical attraction that isn't going anywhere. I mean, the smartest thing I could do is simply walk away and never look back. So when are you seeing him? <sighs> Noon tomorrow. So we have to go shopping, like, now. I know the perfect place. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Wow. Uh, you look beautiful. Oh, thanks. Is, is Paul here yet? No. Good. I can take a message, your name is? Oh, no, that's okay. It's not about work. I just wanted to make sure that I had the right Kate Wilde to send a wedding present to. This is her, correct? Yes, yes, that's Kate. Oh, so you've seen this before? Sure have, big surprise. Really? Um, why? Well, uh-huh. First time any of us heard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, sorry. How do you know Kate? Oh, just, uh, oh, damn thing. Really? <laughs> just never stops. Um, I gotta take this, so uh, I, I'm gonna come back later. <laughs> Thanks, little girl. <sighs> Maybe he changed his mind. Uh, maybe his battery died. I don't know. <laughs> Did you take these? Yeah. Yeah, it's my more artsy side. Too bad it doesn't pay the bills, huh? They're beautiful. No, oh, thank you. I tend to use film for a lot of them just because it has a better look, you know? Oh, you still use film? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every time I go in, all the photographers, the young guys, they're always like, I thought an asteroid took you all out. I'm like, no. Just let me buy the film, please. <laughs> so then I go out into the wild and, I don't know, I just shoot. I love it. I live for it. Well, it must be great to have something that you're so passionate about. Yeah. Sometimes it costs a lot. <laughs> don't worry, he's coming. You sure? Oh, yeah. I got a shiny camera and lights set up. Guaranteed. He's on his way. On Monday, so it'll be a short honeymoon, but I reckon Christmas break, we can hear Bondi. 
beautiful Bonza Beach. You'll love it. A beach at Christmas. Love, you'll be roasting. <laughs> but Christmas is supposed to be cold and snowing. Not back home, it isn't. Aw, some block and a floppy hat. No worries. Um, look, I've been thinking. What are you? What now, love? What if, after we get married, we go to Australia later? Honey, you know we can't go back later. Even with us married, I still have to leave this country. But, but I can come later. Of course, I'm still gonna come and meet you. It's just not quite yet. Look, I love you and I wanna be your wife, but- You're a little nervous. I'm a lot nervous. If I lose one more nerve, I go to panic. And, and when would you come join me? How long would it take for you to be ready? I, I don't know. What if we go to Hawaii? It's a state, it's about half a Fashion show and right here in the main I understand, it's a big change and a big move, but we can't get married and then live on two different bloody continents. I love you, and I want you on that plane beside me as my wife. So, you have to decide. He is so rude. He's not coming. He's coming. I just turned the light on. I have a craft table. Hey, guys! Sorry I'm late. Yeah, I just really wanted to rock it for your photos. Oh, you are rocking it. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Speaking of hitting it, Andy. Thought you said Kate over here wasn't a model. Oh, she's not. She was here on time. Oh, Andy, come on. No, I don't care. It's totally fine. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Oh, wow. What is that cologne? That smells fantastic. That's a contraction. Contraception. Nah, something like that. Contradiction? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> it's one time I did the department store publicity thing for them. Oh. You know, spread some people as they're walking by. Mm -hmm. I was in a suit and tie. The girls, they're dressed like hooter girls. That's hardly sexist, huh? Yeah. And they were telling the guys, wear this and you'll get that lucky lady. And to the girls, wear this and you'll get that rich guy. Huh. Uh, I should probably stop wearing that stuff then. You were wearing a suit and tie? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Anyway, they gave me a bucket of this stuff. You guys want some? You let me know. Okay. So what are we doing today? Ah, happy couple shots. Oh. Yeah. Woo! Woo, uh, okay, uh, like this? <laughs> uh, yeah. I do these romance novel shoots. You know, the hair flying, barbarian, and the princess oh. stuff. Yeah. Oh, do, you, do you like that stuff? Oh, it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, because they just take my photos and turn them into drawings. Oh, do you enjoy that stuff? Or? Depends on how hot the girl is. Half the time, they're fresh out of high school. Not much to talk about. Besides, I'm standing there in my underwear, holding this plastic sword, <laughs> feeling like a tool. Yeah, I bet. Mm. So what do you do? Um, real estate legal work. Compared to what you do, it's boring. Ah, but you got brains. You're smart. Mm. Me, I uh, get a pimple or slack off on training. I'm out of work. Speaking of work, just right near the lens, please. Right here. Um, uh, Paul, uh, you gotta smile, okay? That, there it is, happy couple. Sorry, I'm not used to smiling. Everybody wants that bad boy look, you no. know? <laughs> yeah, Kate doesn't like bad boys. No. Okay. So, hey, tilt your head back when you smile. Oh, right. Yeah. It lets the light sparkle in your eyes and oh. reduce the shadows. Ah. Yeah. There it is. Okay, next. Just back up a little bit, you're in my life. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, you're doing First great. Oh. You're doing great. Mr. Hines? Yes, Carrie. It's Joanne McKenzie again, the wedding conspiracy lady. Tell her I'm busy. She said she'll wait all day. Tell her I'm busy all day. I should get danger pay. And nobody at her work knew until they saw that picture in the paper, okay? because she wasn't getting married until she won that contest. <laughs> she was just pretending. You get that? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, I just have to... <laughs> just 
read it back to me, okay? Just, just read it back to me, all of it. I wanna make sure you didn't screw it up before your boss gets this. Hello? 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 <gasps> you won't be smiling when I rain all over your cheating parade. to the right, yeah. show a slight profile, okay. and lean back to take me out. Okay, that uh, looks, um, okay, we're not selling underwear, though. I know, sorry. <laughs> hey, I've been thinking about this Raul guy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing him as a, a sort of adventurer. Oh. He's got this look, like he's always on the lookout for danger. <laughs> oh, what if he was always on the lookout for Kate Wilde? Yeah! And then maybe just really wanted to get to know her and then talk with her and maybe one day marry her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But use that. Oh, sorry. I thought you were kidding. No. You know what? Just look at her the way that she's looking at you. Like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, she's single. Oh, congratulations in quotation marks, and then wink, wink. Oh, soon I'll be sipping on champagne. Mm. What else we got? Mm. Nice, okay, next. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go have a look at those. I'll be back. Right on, that rocked. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Awesome, okay. good stuff. Right, see you, oh, oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, Kate. Excuse me. Um, where? I need deets. In the Photoshop. No, no, I mean where? Like mouth or cheek? Oh, mouth. Open or closed? Closed. For how long? Did it linger? No, but it wasn't like wham bam either. But uh, just hang on a second. Um, Andy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, thank you so much for today. I have to get going, but I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, where oh. are you? I'm coming over. Bye. Thanks for everything, Andy. It was a fun shoot. So were his eyes open? I think so. It happened fast, but we spent 20 minutes holding each other, and oh, he smells so good. And looking into each other's eyes, oh, he has beautiful eyes. What if he was just acting, playing a part? Like, he was supposed to kiss me, so he did, but he didn't actually mean it. Well, did he say anything before the kiss? Um, thank you. That was fun. And after? Uh. See you later, see you around, something like that. The blood was kind of roaring in my ears. Now I know what people feel like when they get hit by lightning. <sighs> but we are meeting tomorrow and doing a shoot at a tuxedo shop. A shoot, hey? Is that what you and Cindy and Tyra call these things? Megs, please, this isn't funny. He's gonna show up looking fantastic, and I'm gonna look like some tongue-tied idiot with fat earlobes. Uh, fat what? <sighs> Megs. Supermodels are the most beautiful people on the planet. Of course they kiss each other all the time. I mean, why wouldn't they? So maybe in their world, it, it doesn't mean anything. Kate, a kiss always means something. Well, yeah, to us it does, but he's probably already forgotten this kiss that you and I are dissecting to death. I'm coming over right now. Oh, Kate. Okay. Who is it? It's me who puts up me in. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. Don't look at me like that, okay? Everything's all right. You and Dave. Oh. 
Thanks. Assistant to Mr. Hines of Calgary Modern Wedding Magazine. Your business gave me this work number. Um, okay. Okay. We're having trouble reaching Andy Swenson for for a photo assignment. Are you gonna be seeing him today or tomorrow? Um, tomorrow morning at Topman's. Topman's! Uh great. Good. Um, we will give him a call when you're done. Have fun. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> hmm. Oh, but you won't be having fun. I bet Mummy and Daddy don't know nothing from nothing about any of this. <laughs> Late and he takes forever to get ready. Yeah, you get used to waiting on models. I can go get him if you want. So are you two. It's been a while since I've been draped in gold. <sighs> Am I hitting this or what? Uh, yes, you are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? For the pictures. What pictures? The ones with your fiance? When the heck were you gonna tell uh, us? Excuse me, what, uh, what's going on? How did you know I was here? Well, a woman called us uh, from the marriage magazine. <laughs> Said you won some contest and that we're to come here. And get our pictures taken. <laughs> we didn't believe it at first. <laughs> Until we saw that picture on the internet. A uh, picture? Uh, what, what picture on the internet? Ah, some little paper's website. Oh, that lady told us how to find it. Oh, uh, but, but why didn't you call me? She asked us not to. Said this was to be a big surprise. Oh, yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Try calling Megan and she's not answering herself. Oh, well, um, would, would you two just excuse me just for one second? Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. We need to talk. Uh, are those your parents? Uh, the people I call mom and dad? Yeah, they're my parents. Oh, they're awesome. What are they doing here? I don't know, but supposedly you're taking their photo later. I am. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Karma, honey. When you lie and cheat, it bites you in the butt. How did you two meet? You two don't... What has Kate told you about us? Nothing. <laughs> Either way, may I say you are very handsome. <laughs> are you a model? I am. And a fitness trainer. Mm. Mm. So a uh, treasure hunter in Central America. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> uh, where in Central America? Oh, all of it. Oh. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. <laughs> it's, uh, unfortunately, my parents couldn't be here. They were killed during the revolution. Oh, my heavens. My lord, which revolution? Latest one. There's so many. Well, the magazine called me earlier asking for you, so I know that you talked to them. I never talked to the magazine, I swear. Okay, well, someone told my parents, and if it wasn't you, or me, or Megs, or Paul, who... Oh, gosh, Paul. Diving in the shipwreck. Sharks everywhere. Uh, uh, Paul, Paul, what, what are you doing? Just talking with your lovely parents here. Mm. Yeah, Paul's the English translation of my real name. Raul is telling us all about his adventures. Really? A model, a fitness trainer, and a treasure hunter? You sure our Kate won't be a little bit too dull for you? Thanks, Dad. Uh, Paul, can I just talk to you for a second? Of course, darling. We'll be right back. Okay. What do you think you're doing? I'm being Raul. You asked me to. But not for my parents. Why not? What does it matter? We're breaking up soon anyway. That reminds me. What if Raul dies? He's fighting the rebels. Paul. Okay, look, a simple breakup works, too. Look, I just can't lie to my parents about getting married. You're not. We're not. Come on. Just let me be Raul for a little bit. Katie, I work in a sweaty, stinky gym all day. It sucks like dead ducks. Just give me this little bit of a fantasy. 
I agreed to give you yours, right? Just tell your parents that you won a contest and then met me. And we're just figuring things out. That's all true so far. Come on. I'm enjoying this time, especially with you. Mm. Oh. <gasps> Hugging, kissing. <sighs> Please. Everything all right? Uh, yep, yep. Yes, it's good. Just one, just one second. Oh, okay. Oh, how did you two meet? Um... Catherine, if I may. We uh, met after I returned from Under the Sea Treasure Hunting for Cortez's gold. Mm -hmm. You know, Paul, Ra uh, Raul, I, I don't think that my parents are really interested in... Oh, we are very interested. So, have you ever found any treasures? I have, yes. Mm -hmm. It's the most precious one. Your daughter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, where was I? Ah! Matsuma's gold. Oh, great story. You guys thought it talk. was Cortez's gold. There is a lot of it. I can't believe I agreed to this. I need my head examined. Well, hey, I mean, your parents seem to be quite taken by Captain Jack Sparrow over there. You seem to be doing quite well yourself, lass. With Raul, yeah. With Paul, I have no idea Andy is driving me crazy. I mean, he wouldn't be doing Raul if he was serious about me. Raul and I are breaking up in two weeks. Well, I mean, maybe he just... And he's, you know, he's kissed me twice now. And and then he said he's enjoying this and, and me. Yeah, you know, I, I just need to talk to someone. Sure. Oh, excuse me. Thanks, pick up. Sure, Paul's been off for two hours. What could she possibly be doing? I don't know. Oh, Meg's about time. Listen. No, no, no. Me first. Dave and I are getting married. Uh... Duh, I know that. No, I mean, like, we're getting married this Sunday. Civil ceremony, 10 o'clock, Bridgewood Hall. Oh, Sunday? Like, in a few days from now? Yes. We spent all morning arranging it. And right after that, we're gonna go on a week-long honeymoon in Hawaii. <sighs> well, but I thought you guys couldn't afford that. <laughs> uh, we can't, but we've got to do this. Kate, look, the wedding stress was just tearing us apart. And we forgot the most important thing. Just us being together. So, for seven days, we're gonna kick back, relax, and just be happy. But I can't talk right now. Uh, I've gotta call mom and dad. Oh, well, I, I can do that for you. Uh, they're here with me and Paul. What? Oh, it's a long story. I, I don't have time, I have to go. Yeah. Kate, hey, uh, Raul was just telling us about how he nearly escaped with his life uh, from a giant boulder and uh, it's kind of like a movie. I'm sure it was. Uh, listen, everybody, yeah. I have big news. Mm -hmm. Wedding this Sunday. Huh. Yeah, it's a little rush, but seven-day honeymoon in Hawaii. Uh. Honeymoon in Hawaii? Oh. It's at 10 a.m. Bridgewood. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Don't break my door. Kate knows that I'm onto her, that I'm getting closer and closer to discovering her little plot. We have been through this before, lady. Just it... listen. She's getting married this Sunday, not in June. What? I heard it with my own two ears. So I think she's gonna marry one of her friends, go on a fantastic Hawaiian holiday, and then get a quickie divorce. Now you can come with me. See for yourself. Ask around. In fact, you can even ask Kate herself. Joanne, goodbye, good night, get help. If you don't, I am going to go on TV. I'm going to tell the papers that this contest is a fraud and that you knew and did nothing about it. And then I'm going to sue you and your little magazine. <sighs> and if I go along with you? Oh, no lawyers, no paper, no TV. No more you? No me. Ever. <laughs> I mean, why would Kate want a cheapy Sybil ceremony when she could have your big, beautiful wedding? See what she says. This Sunday? Sunday. <sighs> hmm. 
Miss McKenzie. Mate, I was the first Raul de Credenza. You were? Yeah. Got fired though. Girl said I was too good looking. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. After today, uh, I think Raul's gonna disappear into the Amazon jungle or something. Paul, smile. Just back up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's great, yeah. Oh my God, he's gorgeous. You mean your husband, of course. Uh, yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay, how do I look? Oh. oh, Katie, don't make me cry. If my mascara runs, I'm gonna look like some goth chick. <sighs> you ready? <sighs> Let's do this. Okay. JP, not a minister. Come on. Huh? Yeah, see, little faker even had the nerve to wear white. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well? Well, what? I see someone getting married. I see Andy taking pictures. Yeah, well, they're in on it. I saw them plotting together. That's enough. Now, I kept up my end of the bargain. It's time for you to do the same. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Home. I came, I saw, I'm leaving. If that's what they truly want, I'm more than happy with it. No, wait, wait. Anybody. Lady, you need help. Now let go. <gasps> Fine. The prize is mine, and I'll prove it. All right, sister, tell me the truth. Uh, who are you? <laughs> and why are you over there? You're bloody mad. Get out. Bob? Bob Hines? Uh, hi. Uh, w what are you doing here? <laughs> He's with me, here to expose this fraud. This is a fake wedding. Uh, no, actually, we are getting married. Uh, who is she? Stop it, stop it, stop it, everybody, please. I'm terribly sorry, but this is a tragic mistake. Ask them. Ask her. Will you be quiet? You are so insane. Where are you going for your honeymoon? Uh, we're going to Hawaii. And which hotel? Uh, it's, it's a youth hostel. Well, not anymore. You're staying in a five-star hotel, in a honeymoon suite. Everything's paid for. Food, drinks, all paid for. If you want to drink champagne all day and, and eat caviar all day, then by all means, you go ahead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Whoever you are. And you. We're leaving right now, or I'm calling the police. <laughs> no. Uh, they might be getting married, but she's not. Ask her. I am so sorry about all this. <laughs> It's not there. You're leaving. She's not getting married in June. Wait. She's right. I am? I told you. I told you. I knew it. Really? So I get the prize, like we discussed. Yes. I get the dream wedding. Yes. You can have it. I don't need it. Yes! <laughs> oh, now Myron can't say no to me. I'm going to call him right now. Wow. Mr. Hines, no one else knew about this. It was all just me. Uh, and me. Me too. Me three. Uh, four. Uh, look, Kate, this is all my fault. You can take back the whole hotel thing. It doesn't really matter where we stay. Is it all true? Yes. Yeah. And Raul? Was he even real? Well, sort of. Uh, I'm Paul. But I play Raul. Well, hello, Raul. <laughs> Mom and Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm not actually getting married. I thought it might be too good to be true. <laughs> so this is how many now? Student. Oh. Dad. Runs in the bloody family. All right, everybody, 
Megan and I still have to get married and we've got a plan to catch. So somebody lock the bloody door and let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Well, cheers to my baby sister and her new husband. I hope they at least get matching bunk beds in the hostel. <laughs> of course, they could have been at a five-star luxury hotel if I hadn't opened my big, fat mouth. <laughs> well, cheers to two big, fat mouths. <laughs> Andy, you didn't have to do that. You know, I wish you had. You say that now? <laughs> <laughs> they all look so handsome. Well, that's because the photographer is really, really good. Oh. Yeah, I could probably hook you guys up. <laughs> You're funny and very sweet. <laughs> Hello? What's up, Kate? It's Paul. Oh, Paul. Hi. Uh, I'm just at Andy's and we're looking at some wedding pictures and having some wine. A lot of wine. <laughs> hey, Kate, I've been thinking. I really enjoy being Raul and hanging out with you. I was wondering if... Yes? Well, if you want to hang out sometime. You know, nothing heavy. Keep it cool and see where it goes. Are you at the gym right now? Yeah, low reps, low cardio. You know, it's working it. Your gym is open at this hour? No, 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 no. I'm alone. Hey, you want to come by and work up a sweat? You mean work up a sweat with no commitments? <laughs> Paul, are you standing in front of a mirror with a spotlight on you right now? Can you see me? No, I can't. Actually, I don't want to come by and work up a sweat. Oh. Well, next time, maybe? Yeah. Later, maybe. I overheard a little of that. You okay? Yeah, I guess. Hi. I, uh, I wrote something for you. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna read it. <clears throat> Roses are red. <laughs> and violets are blue. I thought I'd try on this bad boy jacket for you. <laughs> thought about striking a pose, you know, or maybe changing my voice. Shaving my beard, but uh, to be honest, that just all sounded weird. <laughs> Oddly enough, I had a really good time trying to find you another guy. But deep down inside, I longed for the two-week finish line where you would break up because I felt like I was the next guy, the nice guy in line. And I just really wanted your eyes to say hello to mine. Now, there was a time you mentioned that nice guys were good. But the problem was they were too shy to ask girls out. And that, that I understood. I thought of all these other things I could do. But, I mean, all I really want is to just sit and talk and just maybe share another grilled cheese with you. So, Kate, would you like to go out with me sometime? You know what I realized? What? I never really liked leather jacket. No? And you know what? Me neither. <laughs> <laughs>
I tried. Good try. <laughs> Thanks. You did all that for me? No. Hi. <laughs> 